Badger Farm Girl here. It's been a while since I posted a video with all this uh, virus stuff going on. Um, yeah, it got real real for me. Um, I was quarantined back in March 10th, I believe. Um, someone in our my workplace walked through the offices that I work in and had tested positive for the virus and was admitted to the hospital. And unfortunately, he died a week and a half ago. So. Um, I've been working from home. I've been going in about once a week to process the things that have come in to keep our supply chain moving. But in the interim, you know, as much as I'd like to go out and go fishing, I have been working on projects and really working on projects. Um, what I've been doing is started out changing the oil, fuel filter, all that in my tractor. Um, this is a 2007 John Deere 2320 with a drive on mower deck. And I decided to really go through this thing and really do some maintenance on it. So, you know, the air filter, radiator fluid, oil. I got to do the transmission fluid because um, this does have the PTO on it. Um, do hay and run the elevator when needed on the farm. And then I decided to go through the mower deck. And this was really interesting because the belt I knew was decaying and then as I took the plates out because this is drive on drive off mower deck for mounting and it does it is run by a PTO found that the bearings are bad one of the wheel, tensioner wheels needed to be replaced so I'm really going through this thing right now and did the power washer on it today got it cleaned up um, I got some more parts ordered that won't be here and here's some more gook that I need to get out of here really want to clean this up um, the blades are getting replaced, everything, and, you know, it's really been a good time for me to really get at this, and I thought this was clean, but it's not. Um, that's how that stuff gets under there, but, you know, unfortunately, the stay at home has really allowed me to really get on top of some projects here, which I normally don't get to get because I'm fishing. Um, do I miss fishing? Yeah, I do, but... Right now, if I get this all done, and I think we'll be quarantined for a little bit longer, um, you know, one thing has turned into another. So today, I was power washing the mower deck, and before I did that, my power washer, come to find out, one of the, 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 the uh, fittings here was busted from winter, because I left this out in the winter, which I shouldn't have. So I had to go run around online and try and find the part I needed, so that got replaced. And then... <laughs> my dry vac I took this apart and it was just a mess so I pulled the filter off so I got to go order one of those but all my all that little stuff I can get done that stuff that drives me nuts that takes you know I gotta go get the part and yada yada and you know I'm really taking this time of staying home and turning it into something positive um, and then in the house I'll show you what I've been up to. I've been painting. I, I decided to go down and look at the paint I had in the house and what I could reuse. So I went in the house, went downstairs, and I found some paint. Now, I don't know. This is probably not the best colors yet. Still working on it. But the half bath got painted. The hallways in here got painted. And down, another another hallway down um, on the other side of the house got painted. And that stuff is I've been putting off for a long time. Um, so, you know... You know, look at the paint you got. Reuse it. Get that look, that stuff that irritates you. Like, oh, I know I should do it. And go do them. Take advantage of this time because you're probably not going to get it again. Um, and stay healthy. You know, that way you're 
let the healthcare workers do what they gotta do to take care of the people that are sick. And yeah, I'm fortunate enough to live across the street from cows. And Lord knows I got enough yard work to do. Um, I'll probably get the chain saw out at some point this week and start trimming up the limbs and really enjoying this whole process. I think this whole thing that we're all going through has really slowed everything down. And you know, the things I've got, and I just become more appreciative. So, um, you know, I like to hear what all other people are doing. We need to share these things. Um, it's not all doom and gloom. You know, I, I can't imagine anything easier than staying home and taking care of you and your family and everything else. So, um, uh, the other thing that went on too, um, we, last, it's been a week, I had to put my dog down. Um, it happened real quick. Lucy, I had her for 13 years, a golden retriever. Best dog ever. Um, really, really missed her. It's really, it was not a good time for her to go, but uh, she got up one morning and really sick and lived as long as she did, um, 13 years. Haven't had a cancer at three. Um, I thought she, I'd lose her sooner, but I got 13 great years out of her. Um, and it's been hard. It's been absolute hard. A time like this, that having that absence of that animal in the house is really apparent, especially now. Um, but anyway, so that's what's going on in my world. Uh, it's a little bittersweet. Um, I will, will be getting another puppy. Uh, when? I don't know. Um, I'm looking. I've got my name on a list. The list is extensively long, but um, it's the breeder that I had of her, and she does a really good job. And then all the the vet stuff has been checked out with her 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 dogs too. So she really does what she needs to do to ensure that you get a healthy dog. So, um, yeah. So be safe out there. You know, take the precautions you need. Get some of those projects done. Uh, the fish will be there. They'll be waiting for us. You know. We'll just get a little bit bigger and a little more fun to catch. And I think when I go out fishing the next time, I'll really appreciate the time to get back with my friends and, you know, getting on the water again. So be safe. Peace.